I think that this is really one of the most exciting finds in Egyptology of recent time because it raises so many more questions. This site is very much of an Egyptian Pompeii without any signs of the destruction. So it's very peculiar and that's one of the reasons why it has sparked so much controversy. This lost city, as it's been called, or actually the Golden City, is located in Luxor on the West Bank, not far from the Colossi of Memnon. The city seems to be um, part of a large complex that was built by Amenhotep III, um, who is basically Tutankhamun's grandfather. This is a huge complex where we used to think that it was primarily for the celebration of his 30 years of rule, but it seems that it had more than one incarnation and people lived there for a bit longer than we had thought. It's very early days right now. From ancient Egypt, we have a huge number of tombs and temples, but because we don't have that many settlements, either because they weren't dug or because people are still living on them, we really have a paucity of evidence. So finding this part of a city is just, you know, an Egyptologist's dream, and the state of preservation is phenomenal. The city seems to have been abandoned, and this is also a question that we have been debating quite hotly amongst ourselves. It's not like the site has been damaged or things have been smashed, so it's not like there was an invading army or anything like that. There are corners where pots are neatly stacked up and you can have the, you know, this is the wine amphora, this holds the lentils, this holds the something else. So it's really quite fabulous. And then, of course, the pottery there is surprising because some of it's very high end. The walls are preserved very high. So you really, as you walk through this village, town, whatever you want to call it, um, you expect some ancient Egyptian to just come around the corner and greet you. It's, it's really stepping into the past. In an ideal world, I think archaeologists would really like to find a bunch of texts that tell us exactly what happened or even a count papyri or something that will give us a greater understanding either of the historical period or about more general aspects of how ancient Egypt functioned as an economy or as an administration. I, I think that this is really one of the most exciting finds in Egyptology um, of recent time because it raises so many more questions while answering others. And I think that it's also very good because it stimulates interest in settlement archaeology all over again, and not so much amongst the Egyptologists who have it, but amongst the general public and hopefully amongst funding bodies, um, because that's often where it all falls apart. But when people see the kind of information you can tease out of these things that maybe more and more people will be willing to support such work.